How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Set, and welcome back to another episode of the European Renaissance 4. Um, this is Persia campaign, where our vassals, unfortunately, at the end of the last war, or after the last war, I, I was putting off dealing with the rebels while we were at war, and I, I had extra armies sitting around. I could have. It was just laziness. I figured it'd be fine. It was not fine. They broke free, and uh, it's my fault. But that's fine. We're just going to conquer it all back immediately, so... <laughs> Yeah, not a big deal. Not really a big deal. Okay. So we have a long truce with the Ottomans, obviously. What do we want to do before then? For one, I'd like to get Greece as a vassal, but uh, we are over our relationship limit, and a lot of our vassals are kind of big and a little, a little uppity, so I don't think we should do that. In fact, I'm like... I'm like thinking maybe we should just integrate Sindh and work on conquering this land here because like otherwise they're just gonna have we're gonna have so many big vassals. I don't know. We'll worry about that in a second. For now, just get these wars done. Restabilize everything. We have cores that'll finish soon and we'll state some of that up, a lot of that up actually. Pay off debt where we can. It's an easy way to keep our liberty desire down. There we go. Alright, go down there. Okay, coalition is leaving. I think the only reason they even formed is because we were at work with the Ottomans, right? Even though we were crushing them, so, you know, I don't know what they expected, but there you go. Um, yeah. Um, so, as this gets going here, let's um, do this. Transfer this to Yas. There should not be any risk expansion, really. It's not that much development. It's not near anyone else, really. Um, and a few people, you know, but um, that's it. Mm, should be easy enough. Here's what we need to do, though. I've learned we need to convert Yas first. Like, like our big vassals, like Ashrakhan and Kiva, are stable enough and have enough Shia land. I think they're okay, and they have enough troops that they can fight the rebels. Kiev, on the other hand, you know, not stable enough. That wasn't the problem, though. But I think now here, Yas, we need to convert their land so that they're more stable, and then we probably won't have to deal with any more issues like this in the future if we do that. So. Let's wait till we're done with this, and then we're gonna convert a bunch of their stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, good. There's that. Beautiful. We already have that as uh, state. Beautiful. Might as well do that. Here's the question, what do we want our next idea group to be? I think... So I obviously don't have a lot of administrative ideas. I think that we don't even care really about administrative ideas though. Like, so administrative ideas as in the actual group it would be fine. That'd be fine and we probably want to take that at some point. We're not going to be doing colonial stuff, so expansion is not worth it. Um, economic is always fine. It's always good even. But um, religious might be alright, but we already have not really many problems with conversion. That's not really our, our big problem right now. Um, it takes a while for us to convert everything, but we, we haven't had much issue with that. Um, I don't think, we don't want a Diplo group right now. Influence would be alright. Even espionage, because I think uh, something that lowers your liberty desire and things? Never mind. Um, is that this one? It's this one. Influence. Influence would be good, but we just finished a Diplo group. Influence will probably be next. <clears throat> I actually kind of feel like a military idea group would be good. <clears throat> I think quantity, really getting our force limit up now, right? Now that we've won one war with the Ottomans and we know that our troop quality is at least on par, I think we should we should bump up our quantity of troops. Um, and we can afford it. So I think qu uh, quantity ideas now 
And that getting our Quanning up will also help fend off potential coalitions. I'm not really worried about coalitions, but they're just going to be annoying for different, like, for the fact that we will they'll prevent us from attacking people because we'd have to fight everyone, right? Um, so I think uh, I mean, yeah, I think I think um, quantity might be the way to go. Come on. Very rude. Uh, whatever. Just fucking. Ah, Yas has regained other land. Okay, good. We got it back. Um, here's what we do: sit an army here for a while with them. And uh, like, how much are we making in a normal month? Let's look. I want to see. A hundred? No, eighty. And minus twenty. So that's sixty. That's more than enough to handle another couple armies. Okay. Um, not even gonna help them out. They'll be fine. All right, let's let's convert. I, I know we have our own land to convert, but it's more important, I think, to stabilize these mofos. Apparently, so let's do that. Let's stabilize them. Oh, look at those rebels! It's beautiful. I really do think that. So, like, again, administrative is. Uh, is good, but we have so many admin points. I don't think we really, and, and we have administrative efficiency. This at this point in the game really is not even a noticeable difference, in my opinion. I think you just you are so good at coring stuff, anyways, at this point, and that you and you have so many points. I don't think we need admin, and we don't have any mercs. We haven't been relying on mercs. I don't think we want to. Um, the number of states is really the only super good one. Economic wouldn't even be bad, but we're doing fine on money. So I think I'm gonna do quantity. I think quantity is the best the best one to do. Uh, and look at this money. I was just saying our money's fine. Our money's gonna be amazing now. We're making 90. Let's wait and see how much that goes up. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Huh. Well, we'll look at that in a second. I think we're gonna enact a couple of those. But for right now. Our money went up from, our trade went up from 90 to 91, just from doing that. Um, it doesn't seem like a huge difference, but you know, it's like a 1% increase for not really doing, changing anything. Uh, let's go from Doab here, and see how much that gives us. And then go for Aiden soon, yeah. Someone did. Uh, Kazak did. Alright, cool. Focus military for a while, yeah. We're behind on Diplo a bit, but that's okay. It'll, it'll come up in a while. Uh, let's actually take Diplo rep guy. Oh, what? They went way down. What happened? I guess the Diplo rep just helped. Okay, so apparently maybe we should would be fine to just get another vassal anyways. <laughs> Man, we're so far over our limit though, I hate it. But I also love it. <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. We could, um... We could integrate Yas at some point, maybe? We could integrate Sin. Again, Sin... Maybe Sin is not worth keeping around. It's like... Sure, we want to get stuff from Bamanis, but they're so big, and right now we don't want to piss off Bamanis. These three vassals we're not getting rid of, are you kidding me? Then They're like a core part of our efforts. <laughs> um, Kiev, 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 Kiev. Um, let's see here. Speed board. Beautiful, look at that. Um, we're gonna be coring up this province, or this state, and well, that one too, honestly. Probably don't need to right away, but 
What is the state limit at? 42. Oh, we're actually getting close. Ooh, I didn't even realize that. Mm -hmm. We do get more soon, I think. Eh, not too soon. Because that is one thing. It's like we want to be able to state up Anatolia. I don't think we care about Greece. At that point, Greece is like too far east. And we're not going to put our trade center in Ragusa. So I don't think we'll really worry about Greece. Um, we'll probably we'll try to promote Greek, um, but uh, not make it a state a stated area. I think Egypt and Anatolia are what we want, and we don't have enough for all that right now. That is one reason to take admin. So, I mean, admin might be next just for that reason alone, to get those extra states. I don't know. We, have, we finished our reforms, didn't we? Yeah, okay. Um, as far as this stuff, we should definitely take this and honestly just get rid of the, just get rid of the prestige. It's not worth it. Um, This one is good. Merchants and trade scheme. What do you have now? Diplomacy. That's definitely worth keeping. Um, actual culture is not worth it. The trade efficiency is really good. This one's not necessary, but it's alright. I think these, this one and this one might both be worth taking. But we're behind. We're behind right now, so let's wait till we're ahead and then enact them. Okay. Yas. Yes, there you go. I had this dude here in Medina to try to get <laughs> um, Mecca, but it's not gonna happen for him. Do we have any wars we want to do in between? In between, I'm, I'm fine just sitting here and making money and kind of solidifying our grasp on stuff. But uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this now. Just wondering why that now. Well, for one, Alexander is actually just a good node um, that eventually we want to have full control over. But uh, two, I want to promote Egyptian. Right now, it's way down here, but it has so much that we that we want to conquer. Uh, in Turkish, we also want to do pressure on Turkish first, actually. But yes, Turkish and Egyptian are both gonna be promoted, and that'll actually get us multicultural nation, which is all right. I didn't realize it was time for points. I actually did know that, but I, I forgot. I didn't realize. I, I forgot. So I knew, but I didn't remember. Um, I think we're good if we just take like one province away. Maybe? Hold on. Let's actually watch this time. They're above the cap. Oh no. Oh! oh, oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was, but oh my god, we. <laughs> we got so much just for asking for a contribution. That's insane. Alright. National Man from My Fire is immediately going to be a huge jump. That's beautiful. Um, Immediately, let's promote... Well, we made this a state, right? Yeah, let's promote uh, Turkish. Those are going to be so much Turkish and Egyptian land. Those are both going to be beautiful. We get the bonus there as well. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. I mean, honestly, like, we, it's fine if we have stuff as territories. Um, eventually we can start switching out some stuff, right? Because we have, like, plenty of states, some of which, yeah, like, Birjand, Kerman, Mogostam, we don't need those to be, we don't need those to be stated. The reason I stated them earlier on is because we just needed all the help we could get um, to prepare for the Ottoman War. And most of it is in our culture group, so, yeah. Part of the reason, like, something to keep in mind is that we do have a, our state to territory ratio is insanely high. We have almost everything we own is stated. And the reason why is because everything I know I don't really care about, I'm just giving to vassals. And I've been doing that, like, the whole game. And uh, I'm going to keep doing it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, like, I, I like our vassal setup. Even though I'm kind of saying maybe we shouldn't have as many, but still, I like it. I like it, I'm not going to lie. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Um, even though it's 25 years away, we're doing this. Seize clerical holdings. We get construction cost. And guess what we're doing? I wanna make sure this takes effect yet. Yeah, I don't think it has. I guess it did. Um, do the ones that have zero first, actually, this time.
There we go. Build a bunch of freaking universities. Not bad. Not bad. So why doesn't Greece have cores on Cyprus in the nights? Is it? I think it might be an event for the, only the Ottomans, I guess. Yeah, and only certain ones got it. So even then, so. Ah, uh, come on, my dudes. Why? Why you guys can handle these that these uh these rebels? not even responding to them. What is your problem? If I could threaten war for this last one, I would. Yeah, I didn't think so. Bohemia is also someone we want to go to war with. Right, well, they're at war with France right now. Probably because, uh, we're in France fighting. Yeah, oh, poor France. Um... Austria would defend them though, so that is a no-no. How are they? Why would they defend them? They are not rival. Uh, it's only a one-way rivalship. Rivalship? Is that a word? Rivalship? Sounds right. Empire recovery speed. We're turning through these ideas. Let's go. Again, let's let's make sure to just. Knock out the rest of their country here. It'll be easy. There we go. Alright. So, when does we choose some of the Ottomans? 87. 10 years. 10 years to go. Alright, that's, uh, that's fine. Yo, we're doing so well economically for being like. We have for having a decent sized army and for having all our forts up with a lot of forts, by the way. It's pretty good. Right, we definitely want to get rid of this fort. I mean, I was just waiting until we had his so. Yeah. Definitely want to keep this fort, but I probably want to get rid of this fort in Sinop. Sinop. Alright. Hmm. Let's build a few more universities if we can. So how many universities do we have? That's a lot. That's spread out pretty well, too, you know? We should do one up here in Kabul, because that's a, a decent province. And, and one in Ro. Here. Because that's how there were, gap, there were gaps up here. So. Um, Trisa, there I'm going up. I mean, so... Yeah, I kind of feel like... Maybe we should just do it now, try to get... Well, we don't have a navy, that's one thing. <laughs> Probably want to work on that if we want to have any chance of doing this. Maybe we could threaten it. I doubt it. They're pretty, they're pretty big. But, uh, maybe. Okay, let's, uh, let's convert our own land now. We have plenty to convert within our country, but it'll go quick. Hmm. Um, I should have had this to sin last time. I forgot about that. We have a truce with you. Otherwise, that's our last province, actually. Never mind. We can't. Uh, Aragon, no. Screw you. Okay. I also wanted to do Wallachia as a vassal, though, so I don't know, like... I think eventually the idea is, though, that we just replace all of our allies with mega vassals. The, the Greece one we're going to annex at some point. Well, do we want to annex them if we're not going to be coring that land, though? Or, uh, stating that land? I don't know, maybe, maybe not then. Hmm. I didn't think about that. It'd be nice just for the reconquest bonus. It makes it easier to take it, you know, cheaper in the peace deal. So, something that's worth doing. Um, 
We are gonna have Imperialism in time for the next war, though. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Our ruler is so good. Hmm. Let's see. I like Bengal now, that's fine. Bamanis, I guess Bamanis something you do. I think we should at least start doing a little more with our, our navies. Plutocratic coup is unfortunate. Hmm, will they any of these expire? No, not really. I'm gonna have to fight some some uh, merchants. Okay, as normal. Just pop some rebels up here in the frickin' mountains and then deal with them there, I guess. Oh, oh god. Still more? More? More. Where where do we have more? Where do we have more? Here. On the way. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. And just set and forget it. All right, there we go. Oh, we have hit our cap. On oh, admin. Honestly, just pump some points in there, yeah. Do it. Do it up. I don't think we have any states here that I really want to make. I don't want to take this next time. Ooh, Utrecht joined the Republic. We haven't seen any uh, join, join the Republic lately. That was, Utrecht was big, weren't they? That was a big, big game. Okay. Apparently, they just ignore this fort. That's cool. That's, that's cool. That's cool, I guess. Gosh darn it, stop it. Stop just ignoring my force, you mofos. It's fine, you gotta do what you gotta do, it's just, it's just annoying. Hmm. So I asked this earlier to myself, out loud. I mean, that's what these videos are, but uh, <laughs> what other wars do we wanna do right now? Like. Oh my god, Transoxiana, Trans Samarkand, it's 36 development, holy, holy cow, <laughs> we, we want that for our vassal, but they don't, they don't have a claim on it. <laughs> um, I think I want to start, like, threatening for war here, because I don't feel like conquering any of it, and if we can get stuff, Tashkent, for them, let's do it. Look at that, one province. Hey, Oirat, you got a, you got a province, bud? Coach Core? No. Alright, that's fair. Hmm, ooh, um, annexation cost. I mean, so again, maybe, maybe we should just annex Sind. I kind of feel like it might be worth it to do that, just because, like, they're really not as much of a helpful vassal. They haven't been. And, like, even if we don't state the land here, it'll be good for trade. Um, and I don't really think we're going to be gaining any land for them for a long time. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to I'm gonna annex in. I'm going to do it. My plan was to eventually probably own Gujra directly anyways. It would have just been after... And a single vassal. But if anything, if we're not we're probably not gonna be stating a lot of it, most of our states are gonna be going west now. So I think we should just conquer it directly, if anything. So yeah. Let's do it. Um and that'll help with our, our whole vassals thing. Let's see, we have Um Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, I think that's fine. 
Oh, rebels. That's right. I was like, I got distracted. You gonna go? You gonna go to the fort, bud? You gonna go to the fort, bud? Yeah, he is. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's see. I doubt we can threaten Aragon for war, but we might as well try. They're not a great power, so it's more likely. I don't think you even can threaten from great powers. I think there's like a, a big malice. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair, dudes. People say it's boy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm considering it. I know the timer went off, so I need to wrap up this video. But, uh. But, uh. You know. I'm having so much fun with this campaign. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see here. The last thing I was going to do is maybe figure out if I want to move forts around anywhere. I think I'm going to build a fort over here in Benghazi just to kind of, like in case we go to war Tunis, where Tunis gets pulled into a war, or Aragon comes through here, right? There's just a lot of stuff that would make that happen, I feel like, so we'll do one there. Um, the other thing was... I think we're going to move this fort here to, to Bitlis. I think Bitlis is a much better fort. Um, it's mountains for one, and it still covers a lot of the same stuff. So I think that's what we do. I think we do a mountain fort, a good one here. And then I think in Araka, we do one here that's like more... Um, well, we get a... We wait and just build one in Antioch eventually, but... I think it'd be fine to have one here though. Let's just do like a cheap one. How about that? There we go. Delete this one. Um, alright. Are there any other in-between wars we could do while we're, while we're waiting here? Again, Bohemia would be a good one, but they unfortunately will be defended by Austria. And that's not an option. Russia? Russia? I don't know. Kiev? I don't think we, again, I don't think we really want to get Kiev too much stronger than they currently are in this age. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world though. They also haven't gotten any claims there, my dudes. My fault, partially. Um, let's see, what else? Um, again, Kazakh. Well, we just got some of them, so no, but... Oirat? I don't know. Oirat would be fine. But Ming would protect them, so never mind. Like, I don't really see a lot of options, you know? Punjab. Punjab might be a good one. You know what? That's actually a good one. I don't, I don't have my claim on them anymore, so here's what we do. We're going to go to our Punjab, and that'll bring in Mewar, which I'll conquer. Yeah, let's start Let's start doing stuff in India again. Rohilkhand? Ro 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 let's take you. We're going to give you... The plan is to, to feed them like all of the Doab trade now, basically. I'm not really going to pay attention to culture as much. It's just a mess anyways. So I'm gonna bring a couple armies down here. One here, one here, one here. And that is what we'll do next time. We'll go to war, we'll consolidate the Lahori node, start getting more of the Gujarat node. Um, yeah, maybe we do Malwa after that too. Let's, let's start fabricating on Malwa, why not? We have one, this is Outrage Countries. We don't need an Ottoman one right now. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're in a great spot right now. I think it's just a matter of time till we get this uh, this campaign done with, you know? So. Um, truce of Tunis, though. I don't care. We're not, we don't want anything else from Tunis. As long as you don't, don't ally the Ottomans again, I'll be happy. Could I vassalize them? No, I was going to say. I own cores of theirs, so no. Okay, I'll tell you what, this is a good spot to end. So thank you guys for watching. Please go leave a like and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.